Welcome to the GardeningDad.com's Gardening School. My name is Paul, and in today's course, I'm going to teach you about the 10 best tools to start gardening no matter what your skill set is. Whether you're just beginning gardening or you've been doing it for years, these tools are going to provide incredible value without breaking the bank. So let's get started. If you've read my article, 44 Best Gardening Tools for Any Gardener, you understand there are a lot of tools out there and determining the best tools has a little bit of subjectivity to it. In today's course though, I wanna give you the 10 best tools in my opinion that will help you get started with gardening or if you've been gardening already, will help make gardening easier. So let's begin. Number one, pretty darn simple here, a tape measure. You probably already have it lying around your house. If you don't, it's gonna probably cost you about $10 American. Um, this is an incredibly important tool if you're just starting gardening and you're trying to create your own garden. Without having the proper measurement, your garden might not look correct, or if you're planting, you might plant plants too close or too far away. This is something that I always carry with me and what I've found no matter what I'm planting provides incredible value. I've just used it for planting a cherry tree where I actually had to dig quite a bit and wanted to make sure I had the correct length. So a tape measure is going to be important no matter what type of gardening you do. I use it every single time. The next one, and this is pretty simple, is going to be your gardening gloves. There are a lot of options out there. I recommend going to your local nursery, local gardening store, and trying your gardening gloves on for yourself. Um, I particularly like ones that have a sticky grip to them. Um, I use this all the time, whether it's planting, whether it's chopping down some trees, whatever it may be. Uh, these usually are a much, dur much more durable than typical gloves and it lets me kind of have that grip that other gloves may not have if they're too thick. Um, best of all, they last a long time. All of these products you can find on the 44 best gardening tools for any gardener too, by the way. Um, but again, number two is going to be your gardening gloves. Again, prevents poison ivy, prevents bug bites. It just makes gardening a lot more enjoyable. Number three, can't garden without a good set of uh, hand pruners. I have some hand pruners right here and I use them every single day. Whether it's in the, in the late winter, early spring, deadheading my rose bushes, or in the fall, if I'm trying to get a little bit more out of those vegetable plants and I want to deadhead maybe some late flowers or even uh, some, of those, some of those vegetables that might be dying off. Um, a good pair of pruners should last you a lifetime and has numerous uses. So again, if you're just starting off with gardening, you're gonna want that tape measure, be able to measure out how you wanna, how you wanna create that garden. You're gonna have those gloves, just makes it much more enjoyable, keeps those hands clean. And then these pruners, and these pruners can be used not only for pruning, but if you're just measuring out your garden, you're using some string, great way to cut that string too. Number four on the list, a larger set of pruners, also known as loppers. Um, these, again, are going to be much more valuable to you if you have some, let's say, uh, older fruit trees you're trying to prune, if you have some real thick vines on those uh, tomato plants, and uh, if you just can't get a good enough grip on your pruners. I always recommend loppers. Again, if you're just creating your garden, you might not use it right away, but I guarantee you're gonna use it within a year. Um, again, much, much more beneficial for those high reaching trees, those fruit trees, any type of thicker plant. I even use it on uh, some of my bushes. Next has to be my favorite. Couldn't find my exact pair, but uh, what we call a trowel, or I just call it a hand shovel. Um, this is perfect if you're starting out a garden. So if you're starting out a garden and you wanna dig a hole, you don't want a big shovel, right? You want a nice little hand shovel that you can dig maybe that six inch hole, that eight inch hole. Uh, it just makes life a lot easier, very easy to move around and carry. Um, again, looks a little bit more like an actual shovel than what I'm holding here, but as any great gardener, I uh, lost mine and I will be purchasing a new one. Uh, so again, hand shovel, recommended. You can use it for anything. Um, again, you could even use it for plant 
carrying fruit trees, it just might take you a little bit longer. Next on the list is going to be my trusty shovel. So again, shovels are incredibly valuable. You probably have one uh, in your garage. If you don't, you can probably get it at a local garage sale or yard sale. Uh, these shovels are going to make your life easy if you're planting fruit trees, if you're planting bushes, any type of tree. Heck, I even use this if I'm getting some late season vegetables uh, or herbs that I just want to make my life easy and dig a big hole. Shovels will make your life easier if you're gardening or just starting out to it. One. I know probably one of the most valuable tools out there is a rototiller, um, just an electric or gas rototiller that can really till up the ground, get that soil up. I know for everyone though, that price point might not be in your budget. So what I recommend if we're looking for something that's easy, and again, inexpensive, just kind of a hand till. This hand till can get the job done. It's gonna take a little bit more work, but I use it all the time, uh, especially after I've gotten my garden in, if I wanna get out weeds, or if I'm trying to get in a second, second crop, I use this to till up my garden. Again, it's a great workout, um, a little bit more work than obviously a tiller. Uh, if you have the budget for a tiller, highly recommend getting one. Uh, I love my gas one, and again, it just really allows you to create the garden that you want. Love this bad boy right here. This is called a bow rake. Uh, it's not your typical rake that you're going to see to um, rake up those leaves that fall in the fall. This actually has some metal tips. This is incredibly valuable for two things. If you want to level out that dirt in your garden, and number two, if you have some of that dirt or if you have some of those weeds and you just can't get them out and need something a little bit stronger. This rake right here gets the job done. I have many uses for it. Love every part of it. You can't see it, but everything that's being stored right now is in a wheelbarrow. Probably my favorite gardening tool out of everything. I get the most use out of it. And the best part about it makes my life a lot easier. If you're tilling or if you're carrying dirt, you're putting tools in there, you want to pull plants in there, whatever it is, it makes your life a lot easier and your back will thank you. Um, again, you can find most, uh, most of these tools anywhere, probably in your garage, in a local nursery, Lowe's, Home Depot. You can most likely find them at garage sales. Everything I have, I've gotten either from garage sales or kind of hand-me-downs. Um, and so again, highly recommend the wheelbarrow. And then last but not least, your trusty hose. Uh, just a hose makes life a lot easier. If you don't get a lot of rain, you can quickly water your garden, quickly water your plants very efficiently. Um, and so again, those are the 10 best tools that I recommend if you're starting off gardening, no matter what your skill set is. So again, number one is gonna be your tape measure. Use it, use it often, helps you plant that garden, measure it out, and get those plants in the right spot. Number two is gonna be your gardening gloves. Please use them. I've gotten poison ivy before, I've gotten bug bites from them, uh, and my hands just look gnarly sometimes if I don't. Number three is going to be your hand pruners. This is perfect for really just pruning anything in your garden. You will use them all the time, uh, no matter who you are. Number four is going to be those loppers. Those loppers are awesome. They're great for bigger trees, they're great for uh, uh, pruning bushes, fruit trees, whatever it is, again, highly, highly, highly recommend that. Number five, a shovel. Just get yourself a shovel. Um, makes life easy for planting big things. You'll use it all the time. Uh, number six, I think we're on number six, is going to be your hand, uh, hand shovel or your trowel. Um, this you're going to use to get those plants into the ground, especially those smaller ones like vegetables, herbs, things like that. Um, number seven, is going to be uh, your rake, or I believe we're on, uh, yeah, I think we're on seven, yeah. It's gonna be your rake, and again, I recommend a hard metal one that's gonna help level out the level out the dirt and also get those tough weeds out. Um, number eight is going to be your tiller. If you wanna get electric or gas, please do it. Makes your life a lot easier. If not, you can have a little hand uh, till, and that is going to make your life incredibly easy to get those weeds out, set those row, rows, and even dig up some dirt. 
Number nine is going to be your wheelbarrow. Your back will thank you, like I said. Your body will thank you. Get yourself a wheelbarrow. And number 10 is going to be a hose. Highly recommend getting yourself a hose. Just makes watering so much easier. So those are your 10 best gardening tools. You can find them on thegardeningdad.com and you can find them in my article, the 44 best gardening tools uh, for any gardener. And again, there are so many more tools out there. Take your time, read my article, explore your local nursery, uh, ask any questions if you have any. And again, happy gardening. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, happy gardening.